All right, developers, we've all heard of people saying they're burnt out, they can't do it anymore, they need a break in this career field. Even Michael Jordan gets the blues. This was posted on dev.to recently. I had to share this because you do hear about burnout in this field quite a lot. Now, full disclosure, I think this person ripped off this post from Reddit. We'll check out that original Reddit post in just a minute here, but he has these huge updates because he got like 500 responses. I'm 37, which in web developer years means I'm a dinosaur. I've been programming since I was 13. I've been making websites since 28.8 KBS was standard, blah, blah, blah. I've written guest books in C and homebrewed a CMS in Perl. I was there when jQuery was new. I was there when jQuery for all intents and purposes was JavaScript. And I'm here today wondering why half of the web is still loading it. I learned to love the HTML5 doc type. I've coded in PHP 3, 4, 5, 7, Zen Framework 1 and 2, Symfony 3 and 4. I've built enough WordPress sites to both understand the love and the hate. I've slung gigabytes of data between my SQL Postgres, SQLite, and SQL Server and mishmashed it all into XML, JSON, and YAML. Okay, so he's done a lot of stuff and he says, dudes, I'm tired. This was fun when I was young and cared about nothing else. I felt like I was doing something interesting. I felt like I was solving problems and building things that nobody else could. But then I discovered the outdoors and hobbies. I got married, I had kids, I discovered the world outside the familiar glow of my screen is full of interesting things and unique challenges. All the while, I've been through cycles upon cycles of changes in web technology. It's a hamster wheel, it's a rat race, it's whatever rodent metaphor accurately describes both the feeling of constant struggle and the utter pointlessness of going through it. We're a digital Sisyphus being crushed by gigabytes of NPM modules that seem to be required to do anything useful nowadays. I've realized that there are other people that are far better than this than me, and I've realized that I actually don't care. I spent years terrified that website builders, automation, and machine learning would replace me, and I stuck it out long enough to be sitting here begging for website builders, automation, and machine learning to replace me. How do you stay both excited and relevant in this career while developing as a well-rounded human being? Can you develop as a well-rounded human being and a web developer? Well, I have to say, this is kind of a longer post in its entirety. However, Mr. Michael Jordan brings up some good points. How do you stay both excited and relevant in this career while developing as a well-rounded human being? And there are some comments here. This one from Peter Brown was interesting. The problem is that web developers are a dime a dozen. It's an industry that doesn't require any schooling and has way too many self-taught people that are willing to work for next to nothing. It's also the easiest of all the domains of this nature to outsource to some sandy third world place. The real money will always be given to those with engineering degrees that are doing work in embedded systems, safety critical systems, or work that requires some sort of security clearance. If someone is an aspiring web developer, my advice is not to do it. Take the longer path, get an education, and find a domain that is more hospitable. Stories like this are becoming more and more regular and will only get worse as time goes on. Some interesting insights here. I don't know if I agree with all of it, seeming to imply that embedded systems, safety critical systems, and work that requires a security clearance can't burn people out. But I would have to agree with the last sentence that stories like this are becoming more and more regular and will only get worse as time goes on. Because Michael Jordan, uh, either the basketball player turned web developer or this person posing as Michael Jordan ripped this off from Reddit, the post on dev.to is no longer posted. Let me know, developers, have you faced burnout in this career field? I certainly have. There's no easy cure for it other than just walking away for a while if you're able to. Now, I will say as someone uh, who owns their own business, that it is much easier to. If I was working for somebody else, I would probably be fired for taking so much time off from the burnout. <laughs> In a lot of companies, web developers are expected to know it all and it can just get to be too much. Is web development just for the young and motivated? Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know how you dealt with burnout as a web developer. Like I said, for me, I get the benefit of just being able to walk away for a bit, but I know some other people can't. So please share your experiences and share your thoughts on this web developer who is burnt the F out. Do you think they need to just man up and get it done or retire 
or is this a legitimate complaint? Hope you developers are doing well and I'll see you in the next video.